failed boat life. We quit. We gave up. We're we're giving up. We're done. It's over forever. We're never doing it again. Why do you make it sound like that? None of those things are true. Yeah, none of those are true. We're just planning on selling the boat because we're too lazy to sail it back to Maine and we hate sailing. We're not sailors. We hate this boat. It's so bad. Again. Why? Yeah, we're just... And I'm in the process where I want to fix up my Mercedes and sell the boat. But if we don't sell it today or tomorrow, then we are sailing it back to Maine. So that's the plan. I'm going to show you the boat because I haven't really done a tour. Let's give you a tour before it's gone. Casper, are you done with boat life? Those eyes tell a story. Well, here is the little tour of the boat. Um, Audrey's working. This is the saloon, salon. If you call it a salon, you're wrong. It's a saloon. In the saloon, we've got two speakers that I ripped out of a Soundcore like, speaker box because it broke. Over here is a little cabinet full of electronics, drone, all kinds of stuff. Keep our clothes in those. Battery up there, guitars, ukuleles, books. Looks like we read. I don't. She does. These are my favorite things. We got the barometer and we've got the clock. I like it. Uh, settee, settee. They're both berths. This is also a berth. Those are beds for boats. I've never slept in there. I'll sleep in there tonight because I've never slept in there. Yeah, what are you doing, buddy? Calcifer is enjoying being on the floor closer to the water because it's a lot cooler down here. I'm also charging the e-bike batteries. We're charging them with solar panels. We're pulling in 69 watts and using 89 watts. So that battery is going to die soon. But I think this one's almost done. We've got the e-bikes out here. Brand new e-bike. And then there's the uh, Engui Pro. Well, here is the kitchen. The galley, if you're a boater the stove the oven this lifts up it kind of lifts up and folds back we got dishes on it but underneath here we've got a three burner stove oven we've baked a couple things in there every time we bake something it smells and also the door doesn't really close that well well the stoves work just fine the stuff that you eat is fine yeah it's like if you put oven cleaner in an oven and then accidentally leave it in there while you cook pizza and then the pizza has a little bit of oven cleaner taste, but it's still pizza. It doesn't taste like that. I've ate oven cleaner before. Don't ask me about it. Eaten oven cleaner before. Yeah, lots of storage. This is where we keep our forks. Right in here. This is our propane on and off switch. Somebody left it on, but that's okay because we have two switches for it. We've got the prop gas here, which is propane gas. We got a water pump. We got the raw water pump. Um, all the lights, charts, radios, navs, fuel gauge. I'll put a new fuel gauge in there. That's the instrument panel. This is the nav desk. That's where Kelsifer eats food right down there. Under here, all kinds of stuff. This is the chart table. Carbon monoxide detector. It still works. Cool. So this stuff. We've got like supplies, epoxy stuff. And over here we've got all of my tools. The things I have to use often on a used sailboat like this because things break. Keep all kinds of weird electronics in here as well. And then um, all the solar panel charging stuff is up in there. Fire extinguisher. Out of date, but the Coast Guard didn't question it. Back here we have a uh, laptop bag, Kelsifer's cat food. Some more tools. I've got a crate back there with more tools and stuff. And then this is our wagon. This is super useful if you go to land and need to buy a bunch of stuff. And then over here we've got the bathroom, the head, if you are a boat. It's a Jabsco pump toilet. Every time you use the toilet, you need to pump it like seven times. So you're just like storage, all kinds of stuff up there. We've got all kinds of storage in here. We got a mirror. We got a closet. Closet. And people ask us where Kelsifer uses the bathroom. We put it in here because it's really easy and contained. So he just like scoops it up. It's 
not a bad spot for it. It usually doesn't smell it unless if he just uses it. He always likes to drop a massive poop at like 5 a.m. And it's just like, I don't know why, but that's what his body clock tells him to do. At least he's got a better schedule than you. Okay, that is true. Uh, we got storage underneath here. And it's kind of hard to access the main storage underneath the bed because you need to lift the mattress up and everything. But this is the bedroom, the V-Bird. Large hatch, we've got reflectix on it because it keeps it dark and then also some of the sun out. And then just a bunch of storage in here. And that's the tour. So boring, she actually has a job now. What do you say? Cuckoo, kachoo. Now we just can't go on adventures and spend all our time together. Nobody's got to pay the bills. We're all day. We're going to go bike riding later. When she's on the computer, she's ignoring me. It's my job. You are my job. Watch this video. Yes. Now everyone isn't going to stop talking about daddy's money. Now they're going to be talking about how you have a sugar mama. It's not true. Yeah, this boat is pretty cool. I'm going to miss it. I think I'll probably be sad selling it. So we just got the bikes tied to the mast right now. We're getting ready to move. This might be the last time we move it. We had somebody come look at the boat. Actually, three people. The dinghy never moved so slow in its life. It was struggling. Yeah. It felt like forever. It's so awkward because you know you're trying to talk to somebody and the motor's like. The motor's so loud. Yeah. We're gonna go up to the safe harbor, get a dock space, Casper. Good shower. Is it like the Camden Pennant? Oh, it's so much worse. Oh, gross. We gotta peel all that off. Well, we can leave it up on deck to dry. Yeah, and then peel it off. waiting for this train bridge to open. We got a lot to do. Woo! Last bridge. Finally made it through. This spot has been so fun for biking. the Ready? safe harbor harborage something something so we're gonna go find some showers and then we have to unpack and pack up and go find a rental car hopefully they have a mid-size suv mm -hmm. or a truck Can you... it's starting to take everything apart let's go oh kind of looks like a mess oh, it looks like something <laughs> yeah, the boat is. Woo. That is all of our belonging. Belonging. It's crazy that that was all. This, all this stuff was squirreled away in various bikes and places. And then we still have two bikes, 
all those batteries jacked me under there. We just came from showers and we're gonna go to bed. It's one o'clock. It's like twelve thirty. Something like that. Go to bed. Wake up really early tomorrow. Bike to the rental place and grab a car. And then road trip. It was finally hitting me this morning, selling it. I was like, oh geez. Oh geez, we got so much stuff. I'm off to get a rental car. Pretty gross. Smells like it's been smoked in. Ugh. <coughs> it is a 2024 Mitsubishi Outlander. All right, we got to go back to Audrey. I'm actually nervous about the space. It does not look very spacious. Visibility kind of blows, but it is really weird driving a car again. This is weird. Alright, back to the boat. 753. Alright, I gotta pay attention to the road and figure out how to drive again. So, we could get towed here, but I don't think we will. I'm thinking I'm gonna put it, put the car there. Just so it's out of the way behind the bush. Yeah. And then, we'll try to be stealth with this. Fun fact, I don't think the jack is here. Like things by boots. One of these days he would have learned how to turn the sink on himself. Man, the boat has not been this empty in a while. So we can get rid of it. How's for the boat so clean? So empty. Alright, it is time to fit another bike in here and all of our belongings before we head to Maine. It's a bit crowded. Everything we own somehow fit into this Outlander. I mean, front seat's still, whew. So I got this, whew. Sold. 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 Oh, that's weird. We don't live on a boat anymore. We don't live anywhere. We live in a car full of stuff. Yeah. Or that we have to turn in to the rental agency in two days. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
He's being a good boy though. I don't even know what to think. That's wild. The boat's gone. It's too fast. It was too chaotic. This time yesterday, we were planning provisioning to go back to Maine. And now, <laughs> yeah, all we were gonna like leave today. Off the boat, and we're driving back to Maine in a car. How do you feel? Dissociated. Yeah. Calcifer has found his new spot. He's kind of enjoying the car, not that much. He's been able to relax a little bit more, I think. When he first got in here, I, I had him holding him and I could feel his little heart just beating so yeah. hard. He was like, <laughs> He's been through a lot in the last 48 hours. Yeah, he's doing or great 24. though. Yeah, 24 hours. And it's less than yeah. 24 hours ago we mm -hmm. started. Yeah. Um, I'm at a gas station for the first fill up in our rental car. Just him, we're not. I am. Here. No, yeah, just Calcifer right there. <laughs> And so I downloaded this app called Upside, and I'm supposed to be able to save money. So right now the gas says it's like 3.80 here, and it should be 3.28 after I get 52 cents a gallon. So right there, 3.78 with the credit card. Oh, we'll just let that fill up. Calcifer. <laughs> the car is filled to the top. Two electric bikes, a bunch of batteries, solar panels, everything we used to live for the last seven months on the boat. All right, we just paid for the gas. Now we go onto the app and click I've paid. You're done. I guess that's it. I don't know if that works. We'll see. I'm gonna make pee. Okay. So I've discovered the car has autopilot, which is pretty sweet. It's gonna make the trip a lot easier. Tells for he's chilling. How are you? I forgot there were so many billboards in Florida. Billboards are everywhere. Just everywhere. Well except me because they outlawed them. Except the ICW. Yeah. Maybe. Sometimes there were billboards. I saw a billboard for Marina. He's finally getting used to it. Just in time for Bucky's. It's so big, I didn't anticipate that. It's Audrey's first time. I think we're in South Carolina. Almost north. All right. Stretch your legs, let's go. The place is always so crowded. All right. Taller than me in the torso, I have to move the seat up so I can see. That's first chilling. He was surveying the terrain. I'm impressed. He was kind of hiding before, but he's kind of getting used to the space, I think, now. GoPro, you've seen it before. Audrey's driving for the first time in, in like feet, a year. The traffic yeah. circle. Take the third Wait. exit and stay on DR Spruce this and Lee Foundation way. Boulevard. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. We're just going to Bucky's again. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. In 200 feet at the traffic circle, take the second exit onto DR Spruce. Of it's fine. <laughs> I'm just getting used to driving again. <laughs> okay, there's nobody coming. So In 300 feet at the Look at how unintelligible that sign is. That's how you know. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yikes. Yeah, 
Jake, famous yeah. now. Somewhat famous. You're somewhat famous now. Jake just got recognized at a random loves truck stop in Pennsylvania. By somebody that watches the YouTube video. Oh. Yeah. Oh, crap. Uh, James, I think. James? It's the J names. J Jason James. I think it's I think it's a J name. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot your name. Mr. J. Shout out to Mr. J. I just was sitting here waiting for him to come out, and I just looked up, and he's talking to some random guy, and I was like, it happened again. I just know it. And he got recognized at the dock when we were selling the boat from TikTok, this guy was like, hey, do you do TikTok? Is your name Jake? I think I know you from TikTok. Yeah, I was just like, yeah, you know, Cusper wasn't caught and up on Cusper's all the shots. like clawing my face off and I'm like, help. And this guy's like starstruck having a moment. Yeah, I was at the register and then I hear him start giving his phone number 207. I'm like, area code 207, man, nice. But then he's just like, and he's like, uh, as he's leaving, he's like, you look familiar. I'm like, yeah, I haven't changed my clothes since day one. <laughs> I am very tired. I had one hour of sleep and I've been up since 5 o'clock yesterday. How are you doing? I'm feeling surprisingly good. Ready to get some miles. Calcifer is home. We made it. Uh, we're about to unload the car. There is a lot of stuff in here. I wish it was lighter out so I could show you like a time lapse of unloading it. But whoa. It's also cold. It's like 30 degrees. What? I think he's happy. He smells the other cat. Alright, we gotta get him situated and then we will get the car unloaded. Everything. Is unloaded. So I guess it's time to update you guys. So we unloaded the car over at my parents' house last night. Um, cleaned it out today. Put Audrey's stuff back in it. Brought it to her parents' house. And yeah, so we're back with our parents basically right now. Until we figure out what's next. Uh, so I'm just bringing it back to the rental place. Next thing to do is to get my old car back on the road. Let's go. We got 33 MPG average and 1,723 miles, 31 hours, and 25 minutes of travel. Not bad. <laughs> 